Oh, what a night. <clears throat> this is what we doing. This is what we getting done. All right, you see this? Wiring harness. It goes on this light to make the light work. Now, how did I get to this part? Yes, to change out a light bulb on a 2008 Malibu, on most of these Malibus and Chevys, since the light goes all the way back into the fender, you gotta take the bumper off. Yes, you do. You're gonna need some 10 millimeter, a 10 millimeter ratchet socket, like I have here. That's two screws. These two screws came out of the headlight. The headlight was screwed in right here, as well as through that hole to go in here. I've been taking this stuff on and off because the light, I changed the light bulb out and it was working, then it wasn't working and I had to wiggle the wire, but ended up figuring out that the wire plug connector was burnt. So I'm bought a replacement. I'll show you that in a minute. But you gotta take this screw out right here. It's another 10 millimeter screw that goes in here. You gotta take that out. You gotta pull these corks out, these rubber plugs out. And then it's some uh, small screws like this that hold this in place. You have to take those out. And then you have to unhook the bumper from here. But in order for me to get in there good, I can change the light. I didn't figure out how to change the light bulb without taking the whole bumper off. I could just take that side apart. But for me to get in there good and do what I need to do, I decided to take the whole bumper off. I had to take this off. But it's a, it's a trim plate that goes across here. You had to take out these screws, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's it's quite a few of them, but you gotta take that off. That's what that looks like. And it fits. <clears throat> fits in place like so you had to take all that out now once I got into that I could take the light off and get to this so this 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 and this all right, this right here. So I'm gonna have to slide this off. Unplug that, put the bulbs in that, and then replace it. All right, so right here, I had to slide this off. It just slides in place right here, right now. And then you gotta unplug all this and put it in place. Alright, so unscrew that socket, take that bulb out, put that bulb in there. Put that one in now. So we halfway through. We got that portion and then this portion. And now we gotta insert these portions. So once we get through, we got our high beam and our low beam and our signal light remaining. So those are the bulbs we're gonna replace next. So as we see here. We just twist and release. You see the 
pegs, the ends that align that you insert and twist it. But I'm gonna unplug and then put the bulb on the new harness. And you gotta make sure you put it on the right way because as you can see, one side is, sh is shorter than the other side. So you gotta make sure you got, it's only one way the bulb will go in. One side is thicker than the other side. Then we reinsert. And twist. Alright, so this is right here. This is where our problem was. We had this low beam. This was our high beam. This is our low beam. High beam is a higher or brighter color. Low beam is a darker color on our harness. And then we got our signal light. So I'm going to show you what the differences are and why I'm having to perform this particular task. Alright. So once again, you see the three. One. One, two, three tabs. Just like we got the one two three tabs on that side but when I unplug it I'm gonna show you what I mean all right right here you can see the difference this is our new one and this is the old one you can see how that is very fried melted charred whatever you want to call it and it will plug in, but it won't maintain a strong connection and it, it shorts out. So that's why I'm replacing the whole harness. Now, I could have gotten just this piece, cut it, splice it in if you want to go like to pull apart or pick apart or wherever your local junkyard is. You can go and do that, put some butt connectors on and keep it moving. However, the one closest nearest me did not have this particular harness. It had plenty of these for the high beam, but for whatever reason, these were already taken and removed. So I replaced the whole harness, and it was very it was it was quite a challenge because I actually ordered the uh, part just these just this. I call myself just ordering this. But the ones that came from Amazon only had two wires. And you see this has three wires on it. So I can just have a loose wire. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert my bulb and then replace my signal light. Put the light bulb in and put the headlight in. Replace the bumper. And we should be good to go. And this bulb is only one way it goes in. You see that line in the middle between the plugs? That is the way it should go in. I need to check this mode to make sure it ain't melted out. But anyway, turn signal light. It just pulls out. You may have to pull pretty hard, firmly. But I would suggest you do it with um, some gloves or what have you because it might take a little to get it out of the old one but i will show you but i only got a two hand but you get it it just pulls out no twist just straight pull and the insert it you see the way it is shaped that's exactly how it goes in goes in straight and then you twist it so that it locks in place so now we got our whole harness replaced, brand new harness. We're gonna plug this back in and we should be good to go. So this is the plug right here that we're gonna reinsert to connect our headlight. Right here. But first I'm gonna put the align the light, put it back in place, and then get this bumper back on. <clears throat> all right so you align the light as you can see 
you need to get it into that screw hole and lift up. It's kind of like those uh, knobs. You know, you insert then you pull it up. When you take it out, you got to pull it down and pull it out. But see how the hole. This hole right here. Let me do that a better way. Right here. And push it up. It's another hole below that that you can easily sit, slip it in, but it ain't gonna line up right. Yeah, you see my finger moving down there, but that's not the hole for this portion of the light. Put it in that hole, slide it up, and that way this screw will align. You gotta make sure that screw aligns right here. Tighten it down. Make sure your wires aren't in a place where they could be, you know, pinched or sorted out, tucked in nicely. And then you just gotta put this part of the bumper right here. Put this part of the bumper in here. Put this part of the bumper up here. But we're gonna tighten up the light, then we're gonna get the bumper upright. Got the light tightly in place. See our harness in place. Screw in securely. I'm going to put this bumper on. And as stated before, if you just change out the headlight, it's a way that you can just take this side a loose and work your hand in there to take it a little, take it on, um, take it out and replace it. But that might take a little skill, but the, the basic way, well, the normal way, the factory way, drop that bump off. Take some screws out, some screws down now. Since I've been in and out of mine, I ain't even got all the screws down. I just got to know to keep it in place how it is because it's an older car. All right, we almost back in business, y'all. Bump in place, nice. Bump in place, nice. See how these holes align? Nice. Nicely. Right here. All in. So now I got to put a screw on this side on and the other side. Then got to put the plate in. Put some in the bottom. And we're good to go. Alright, so if you can look in here, you see that screw? That's one. And I gotta do this on the other side, other fender. But then you gotta insert all these plugs. 